Good morning, Bible Baptist Church family. It's Friday morning, and it's time for the word of encouragement today. And so I'm so thankful that you tuned in this morning. Looking forward to a great time as we wrap up the book of Philemon today. But so excited about what God has in store for us this morning. It is Friday, so that's exciting because Sunday's just around the corner. And we look forward to seeing you Sunday at Bible Baptist Church in the drive-in service in the morning and then in the evening service in the building. And this time, let's dive right into the book of Philemon. We're in the last five verses, verses 20 through 25. And so let's read them together this morning. Yea, brother, let me have joy of thee in the Lord. Refresh my bowels in the Lord. Having confidence in thy obedience, I wrote unto thee, knowing that thou wilt also do more than I say. But withal, prepare me also a lodging, for I trust that through your prayers I shall be given unto you. There salute the Epaphras, my fellow prisoner in Christ Jesus, Marcus, Aristarchus, Demas, Lucas, my fellow laborers. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Amen. As we wrap up Philemon today, we know that yesterday we talked about forgiveness and Philemon forgiving Onesimus for what he had done. And the Apostle Paul here, he encourages him, let me have joy of thee in the Lord, refresh my bowels, encourage me, he says, in the Lord. Having confidence in this obe thy obedience, I wrote unto thee, knowing that thou wilt also do more than I say. He, uh, Paul knew that Onesimus would be received by Philemon because of Philemon's relationship with the Lord. But also you'll notice that he also encourages him that he would prepare for him a lodging that through your prayers I shall be given unto you. You know, it's amazing when you stop and consider Philemon and uh, think about the things that are going on there in that text because Philemon reveals some other important truths for us this morning. Yes, the great truth we learned yesterday about forgiveness versus bitterness and receiving someone back who's done you wrong. But yet we find here at the end of the chapter some interesting thoughts. The Apostle Paul says, But withal prepare me also a lodging, for I trust that through your prayers I shall be given unto you. He knew that Philemon was praying for him. But also we will find in this text that the Apostle Paul could not do the work of the ministry fully on his own. He needed other fellow laborers and fellow helpers in the work. So here we have Philemon who's helping him and providing him lodging. We also have Epaphras who's his fellow prisoner in Christ Jesus, Marcus, Aristarchus, Demas, Lucas, my fellow laborers. Now I know some of you this morning, you're remembering something about Demas. You're remembering that there's another epistle that it says that Demas hath forsaken me, having loved this present world. You see, even those that get involved in serving the Lord have to make a daily decision to follow God. Here in Philemon, we have a listing of those that were helpers with them. Marcus, Aristarchus, Demas, Lucas, my fellow laborers. There are people involved in the work of the ministry. In other words, the church ministry is more than the pastor. It involves more people. And you and I need to be fellow laborers. We need to work together for the cause of Christ. And so Philemon teaches us some important truths about our relationships with others, but also that every person has a part to play. And so let me encourage you. Have you found your part today in how to serve in your church? Do you know what you need to do to get involved? Do you know who you need to, what you need to do in order to be a helper and a laborer in the church? Maybe it's working on the cleaning crew. Maybe it's working in a Sunday school class or uh, putting things together for the secretary job or working in the choir, whatever it may be, being involved in special music. I encourage you this morning, find a place to labor alongside other believers, not labor alone, but labor alongside other believers. And so Philemon it reminds us of this truth, that the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit, amen, that you and I need grace from the Lord to work with people. Sometimes people are frustrating. Sometimes people can give you trouble. Uh, but with the Lord's help, we can work with anybody. And so I remind you of that truth this morning. Uh, but it's Friday, and I know you're getting ready to go into the weekend, and hopefully we'll see you on Sunday uh, at the church house. But today... Here's, here's a thought that I'd like to leave you with. You are important to the work of the ministry. Every single one of you watching this video this morning, you're important. I know it's been difficult these last few months of not being in the service, watching online, 
Some have struggled with that. Some have not been as faithful as they should have been. And I understand. I understand for some of you to come back to services and be back in the building is going to take some time because of health concerns and health reasons. I want you to know I understand and I love you. And we want to be there to help you and minister to you. But I do believe this, God's church needs to move forward. I believe that God wants us to get back into our building and get back to having Sunday school and having services like it once was and spending that time together studying the Word of God in the Sunday school hour. I look forward to that happening here very, very soon in the next few weeks as the Lord allows us to transition into the next phase of opening our church. But those of you who are concerned, I understand. Those of you who don't understand why other people are so concerned, I understand your side too. I understand your feelings and your thoughts about the matter. But here's the important truth. We are to labor together for the cause of Christ. Don't get upset with somebody because they respond differently than you to the timeline of the church reopening. But instead, pray for one another. Pray for them that God would give them direction. Pray for your pastor and the deacons and trustees and leadership of our church as we seek the Lord and the Lord's timing about the opening of our church. Pray for those in our community who have been thinking about God during this time. And maybe we'll walk into our church building and get the opportunity to hear the gospel and have their life changed for eternity. We can't do this alone. We need the Lord's help, number one. But number two, we need you. Yes, you. The Bible says that the church, that we're, we're one body. Every person's got a different part. We've got a right foot, a left foot, right hand, a left hand, shoulders, ribs, kneecaps. We need you all. So let me challenge you today to look at the end of Philemon and realize this. Even the great apostle Paul needed fellow laborers to do the work of the ministry. And your pastor needs you. I need you to pray. I need you to participate. I need you to get involved in the work of the ministry. Because at the end of the day, our church, our goal should be to honor God and to help people. To honor God and to help people. And in our honoring God, every ministry that we are involved in at Bible Baptist Church that helps people comes from that result of honoring God. I guess you could say it's part of our purpose statement to honor God and to help others. And as we honor God in the things of his word, as a strong church, we're going to help this lost and dying world. We're going to help other believers. We're going to help each other to live for the cause of Christ. So today, we need you. Don't stop. Don't quit. Get back in the fight. This coming Sunday, maybe you've been struggling being in the drive-in service. Maybe you've struggled watching online. Why not this Sunday? Recommit. I'm going to do my best this week to be at the Lord's house on Sunday. I'm going to do my best to be in the services this coming Sunday and see what God will do with your desire. Pray for this upcoming Sunday. Pray for the live stream ministry. Pray for uh, one another. And we look forward to seeing you this next time. Again, thank you for tuning in to the word of encouragement today. I hope and pray it's been an encouragement. It's been an encouragement to this preacher to know that you're watching. Have a great day. And Lord willing, I'll see you on Sunday. And we'll have a great time of fellowship together. May God bless you and your family, and we'll see you on Sunday.